What is the actual elephant in the room? All right, so I wanna start this off by using TikTok, which I think is the app of the American cultural record for this century. And so this is a six, a series of eight TikToks, and I want you to pay attention to the commonality in all eight of them, okay? My friend, let me show you Guy. I think you'll like him. How tall is he? Six foot and on the right, when he's six foot five, dark skin, hoops, goal oriented, believes in God. Left, when he's over six foot, smell good and talks big ish. Right, when he's tall and handsome with pretty teeth. Left, when he's over six foot tall with no kids, single and fine and hug you for the first time. Right, when they say enjoy my leftovers, but it's a six foot black tall black man with tats left when he's over six foot 215 to 235 with veins on his arms built bearded and love his women thick right when he's over six foot okay so we see the commonality there they want the first reg uh, you know requirement is the guy is six foot tall and then after that they you know most of the ladies want something else but i want to show this tiktok that actually kind of shows the prevailing way that people look at short guys. So here we go. Me and all, but like you a midget, I can't do it. I'm sorry, baby. It's the height, but we could be friends. We could, you know, we could kick it, you know. You already know what I just said. You know, y'all have to pass. I'm sorry, but you know, you know, <laughs> pass. I almost feel bad. I'm past. <laughs> I ain't even get on your toes. I'm just past. I know I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a fast because I'm kind of tall. I'm a fast because you're my homie. I'll, I can see over you. Hey, okay. you funny and all. Okay, so we can see this is kind of the prevailing you know, thoughts about, you know, shorter men in the dating market, okay? And the the traditional answer for this has been and I'm going to bring in alpha male strategies here, fair use by the way. But alpha male strategies, he's, he's a good coach for getting guys coached up and they get, you know, confident to, to approach girls. And this is kind of the traditional advice. And fair use, by the way, I I like alpha male strategies. I like his content and, and his content actually, it does have a place even for passport bros. But that said, I want you guys to hear kind of the traditional coaching up. And then I, I want to kind of chop it up on the on the back side of this. So here we go. First right off the bat, guys, let me tell y'all guys something. And by the way, if you're not familiar with him, he uses strong language. So if you're if you have a problem with that, I don't know. We're boy, big boys and girls here. So here we go. This short thing, it has to end right now. I don't want to hear this shit no more. Guys, in my lifetime, from when I was in school and throughout my life and whatever job I done had, some of the biggest whores and some of the, mo the, the, the biggest ladies men were short guys, all right? Some of the toughest guys were short guys. Nobody fucked with them. Y'all know why nobody fucked with them and y'all know why the ladies gave them play? Because the way they fucking carried themselves. That's right, guys. It's all boys down in the way you- Okay, so this is the framing game part of it, right? So, you know, it, it, you gotta have frame, you know, be able to maintain your masculine, masculine, you know, posture, and you got to have the game to chatter up. Okay. Carry yourself a masculine frame. Now, this is the problem where a lot of you guys get fucked up on this masculine frame, all right? So you think that you only need to hold a masculine frame when you round somebody directly around somebody, or you're interacting with them, all right? Y'all need to understand that, man. Women are always watching. Y'all ever heard the phrase "the streets"? Okay. Are so this this is he goes further into it, but basically what he's saying is, you need to have a certain masculine posture, a masculine frame. And if you're a short guy, if you have that, you know, you'll if you do it correctly, you'll you you can you can you know beat the problems that you might see in this TikTok here. Now I'm going to come back to this. So. I I'm going to come back to this because I think this is an interesting dynamic here, but I want to show you some, some actual data before I come back to this. Okay. So 
case you guys are not good with a metric system, I'll, I'll let you guys see the heights here. So if you're five foot tall, you're going to be 1.5 meters. If you're six foot tall, you're going to be 1.83 meters. And if you look at the percentages on the side here, you're the 1%. That means that you're, or if you're five foot one and a half, you're in the smallest 1% of Americans. If you're five foot five, you're in the lower one tenth of Americans. If you're five foot seven, you're in the bottom one quarter of Americans. Add two inches and you're right at the average. Five foot nine is the average for guys, for men, okay? If you're at 5'11", that means that you're in the top 75%. And if you're at six foot even, that means that you're in the top 10% of, of Americans in terms of height. And then when you get to like six foot four, you're basically, you know, you're in the top 99% and the people that are left are basically, you know, I mean, 1% of Americans, one out of a hundred Americans are taller than six, four, right? So I want to show you these numbers, which come from, I want to show you guys the website, tell you guys what this comes a world population population review. And these show the the numbers for average height for men and women across the world. Right. So if you wanted to go somewhere where you were taller than your than your mate. OK, so on the left here, we have the average male height in centimeters, average female height in in centimeters. OK. So let's say that you're, uh, let's say that you're a guy that you're five, seven. That means you're looking at 170 centimeters, right? Five, seven, which would be in the bottom one quarter of Americans. So 170, 170 right off the bat, you're going to be, if you go to the Netherlands, you go to the Netherlands, you're going to be basically the same height as the average female, right? Let's say that you want to be three or four centimeters higher than the average cent the average woman. You could start here at Belarus, right? So if you're 170, this is 167 or or Slovakia, I suppose, you would on average be three centimeters taller, right? So if you keep going down the list, you can see that here you're in the five, you're almost at the five centimeters taller range when you get to Romania, Canada, and then of course America, you know, United Kingdom is 163, so you, you can see the progression, right? South Korea, 163, Israel, 162. Here's America right here, 163. The average woman is 163 centimeters tall, which of course that translates to roughly five foot four, five foot five-ish. And even though the average woman is that tall, you're hearing on these Tic Tacs, everyone wants someone that's six foot tall, right? And so you can go down the list, you can see, if you go to Brazil, the average woman is going to be 162 centimeters. If you are 168, five foot six, on average, you're going to be five centimeters taller than the average person there, average woman there, right? If that matters to you. I mean, I mean, I guess they always talk about you want someone taller than you, but then you start getting into the 160 range and you know taiwan costa rica you, you can see you can see what happens it, the average woman is getting continually shorter so if you are a person that's in the five six five seven range i mean you can go there and here the average woman is going to be shorter than you remember this is the average the average woman is going to be shorter than you okay which brings me to here's the rub here's the rub when you look at these numbers these numbers basically are telling you that if you are a five foot seven guy and you're making, I don't know, decent money, average money for, for America, you should be able to date your counterpart, which would be three or four centimeters shorter than you and probably making, you know, somewhere plus or minus 10, $15,000. But what we're seeing from the TikToks is nobody wants that. Everybody wants the guys at the six foot, six foot plus range. And you see that's 10%, right? So what is the rub? The prices are too high. The prices for what what the, the prices tags that women are putting on what they want in a mate in America are too high. The prices are too high. If you walked into a store and you saw a Snickers bar and they were charging six dollars for it, you wouldn't buy it. If you walked into a store and you wanted to buy a two liter of Coca-Cola and it was ten dollars, would you buy that? 
because that's what we're seeing in these TikToks. So now let's go back to these TikToks, okay? I want to go back to them. And this time, I don't want you to look at, I don't want you to look at the, don't look at the, the at, at the English on the TikToks. Just look at the women. Look at the women in the TikToks. You don't have to be mean about judging them. Just look at the women that are, all of these women are demanding a guy that's in the top 10% of, of height, okay? You can see, look, these are the, these, all of these women are demanding a guy in the top 10% of height in America. So when I talk about the prices are too high, look, everyone, everyone is charging $7 for a Snickers bar. Everyone is saying, you got to have $7 if you want to buy a Snickers for me. You got to have $10 if you want to buy a Coca-Cola, two liter Coca-Cola for me. You want to buy a cheeseburger? That's going to be $25. That is, you, we're seeing inflation. It is, this is relationship inflation. Everyone's got to be six foot. If you're not six foot, you got to pay a higher price. And so when I, when I brought up alpha male strategies, the reason why is, is simple is that he suggests that there is something that, that can be done for guys that are, that are trying to, you know, game women. You can game a woman by saying the right thing or having the right frame when all in actuality actuality the Ooh, prices are too high again look at the ladies look at the ladies in the TikTok. these are women that are demanding a, t a man that's taller than average they're all of these ladies are saying even look at this pairing right here look at this pairing right here this pairing right here they're essentially the same height Essentially the same height here, right? W what is wrong with him that he can't pair with her? She wants a guy who is in the top 10, 15 percentile of height in America. And again, I told you guys, look at the ladies in the in these pictures. Okay, so the next lady here, she's almost the same height as him. She's demanding, again, a guy that's taller than her. Again, is there an issue with this pairing? I, she wants whatever she wants, but think again about the prices. About the prices. Are the prices too high? What price is she demanding? Again, here, what price is she demanding? And this is a this was an outtake, but here, but again, her her price, what is her price? What is the price that she's putting on, on the Coca-Cola, the, the Snickers that she's selling? All things said, the prices are too high. There's inflation. That is what I'm saying. The, the elephant in the room is that the prices are too high. You're shopping at the wrong store. That is the elephant in the room. Short guys in particular. If you're a guy that's in the, it, that's five, six, five, seven, and you're trying to shop in America, you're shopping in the wrong store. You're shopping in the wrong store, especially if you're a, a, a black a black man and you're trying to find someone that you know that that is trying to you, you're trying to mate across. You you can't even get in the door because the price is exorbitant. So guys, keep that in mind that <laughs> the prices are just too high. They're just they're too high. And with that, guys, I want to say. Thank you guys for watching. Here's a video I made that kind of goes through details why hypergamy actually is not your problem, it's her problem. And it goes through some of the math and the statistics that, that actually let guys know in the, in the West that if you're making a certain amount of money and you have your thing on the ball, you are actually a prize. You'll be surprised at what the average salary in America ranks around the world. With that, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and feel free to comment, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.